Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Boat Crew. Today on Boat Crew, we're going to take down something fairly sizable. In order to do that, I have adjusted the loadout. We now have a couple of the Mark VIII torpedoes. Now, why these? Well, we're hunting something fairly sizable. I used to have the Mark XIIIs. These have a splash damage of 15k. These have a splash damage of 25k. This is packing a significantly larger punch. Why do I need this? I have been given an assignment. The assignment is take down Shirayuki. That is a destroyer. Now, since I last showed you the map, something has changed. The enemy has taken Malapa. I, however, have taken over here Renel and Bologna. Um, I've made some progress, but the fact that there is a target over here is very interesting. Now, I want to do this raid during... Oh, hello. Oh, your allies. Never mind. Uh, I want to do this raid during daylight, so I'm going to skip the time a bunch. I'm not sure if there's going to be a benefit to taking down a destroyer at night, or at least hunting it at night. Uh, supposedly, destroyers are basically the most dangerous adversaries you can come across. That also makes them quite valuable. It means that they're quite valuable when you take them down. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this mission in one go. We're going to have to take down potentially some base defenses and some escorts first before eliminating the Fabuki. Or at least the Fubuki class destroyer that they have parked over here. Let's see, we are definitely not facing stationary targets. Something is mounting the island. Okay. Uh, we got a couple of patrols over there. And that is our target. That right there is our target. The good thing is, the target might not be able to maneuver Shirayuki. Simply because it is this close, if not beached, on the island. So first, let's see about the rest. Because we know where the boats are. We know that they have defenses somewhere sitting on the island. And I want to be able to take out at least some targets and make an escape. If I have to. I'm not sure if I need to. But I want to have at least some exit plan without getting absolutely blown up. Something I would love to see with the torpedoes is like a maximum range, and I don't know if there is one. Um, this means that from here, considering I'm facing a stationary destroyer, I might be able to launch the right torpedo and just eliminate it. But I'm not sure if I can. The right side torpedo, just under the sea, from launching, it does say that there is a target. So I guess it's possible. For science, we're going to drop a torpedo. And we're just going to stop here. We are just going to stop here. And wait for that torpedo to either hit its mark or not. But the target seems to be oblivious. So it's just going to come down to whether or... Ooh. Yeah, that's... Ultimately, not very friendly. That destroyer and everybody and their mother has just opened up on me. I'm going to have to maintain some ability. The destroyer does not seem to be taking any sort of evasive action. I really appreciate that. That's very generous of them. Um, is this going to sink this guy? Is it this straightforward? Like, just launch a torp for maximum range? It's going to hit him, all right. Any day now? Yeah. Yeah, that does have appeared to left a mark on him. Destroyer's badly on fire. Their entire middle section... Oh. You sinking? Have they just, like, keeled over? At least they don't appear to be very mobile. Let's drop the other torpedo. And see where this is going to get us. There's the target. I honestly hope it's not this easy to take down a destroyer. Because that would mean that a destroyer, or at least the AI of said destroyer, is going to need a lot of work done to the AI. Because right now, this guy has put up essentially no fight. And that second torpedo strikes true. A big splash. 
and Shiryuki appears to be more underwater than above water. Even in shallow waters like this, it appears to be fully sinking. There we go! What? Wow, this is a little disappointing, actually. Because destroyers have been hyped up as this massive threat. And now I just go, yeah, that's cute, but you're dead. Like, it didn't really take me any effort. I had to dodge, what, eight shells? And then the target was just torpedoed, because it either refused to move, or it beached itself, or both. I'm not really sure what happened. At any rate, now we can still go on the offensive against some of these base defenses. And potentially some of the torpedo boats that are guarding this place. So that maybe my allies are going to have an easier time bringing their own landing forces here. This is a medium defense. So, yeah, we're definitely out, expecting some more fire coming in. But with the Bofors, I'm not really expecting a whole lot of difficult taking down most of these defenses. Just maintain maneuverability, keep the enemy guessing as to where the next shot is going to have to go. I mean, I don't even know where I'm steering at this point. Nice try. This guy's taking a bit more damage than I thought. I think that was the light batteries. This might have been a... Yeah, it's AAA position. That thing's definitely AAA position. Okay. Was this the whole big hype about the DDs? Because the level of threat has been gravely overstated, if this is all. Let's take out a few more and see if my allies can get Malapa back. It is a position right in the middle of my territory. And I would love to have it back so that I can resupply. But also that I don't have to just constantly keep paying attention to whatever the hell might be out here coming for me. And it looks like that's it. Malapa eliminated. 3,000 points? Really? Wow. That is... a Wow. That's really, really valuable. Um... Let's head over to Apio. Get resupplied. That was it? I mean, I can now get another Elko 80 with 50 cals and a Bofors. This thing is better armed than I am. Or I can get three boats with 30 cals, which I don't think is that useful. Arguably, um, I saved the budget and improved my own situation, my own loadout. Because I now have those pretty hard-hitting torpedoes and... I honestly don't really feel the need to upgrade them more. These things cost me 3,000. You do have access to the Mark 24. Uh, these are supposedly acoustically guided. And with that, um, you can potentially get more hits. But the question is, does that really matter if you only get a splash damage of 4,500? Four, four, I don't feel like they're strong enough. You also got more 27s, like four of them. Again, acoustically guided, they do a bit more splash damage, but considering the amount of damage and the way that I play the game, I think the Mark 21 is fine. I might get... Oh, it's actually... <laughs> that's actually very, very expensive. Um, that's not the right torpedo, it's the Mark 8. The Mark 21 is acoustically guided, out to 1200 meter range, and does 18,000 points of splash damage. So it's still less than the splash damage from the Mark 8, the older one. Um, and you're paying like 17,000 more for it, for acoustic guidance. I'll stick to these. Secondary slot? Yeah, I can get a death charge, but I haven't... Well, maybe at the start of the campaign I've seen a submarine or two, but I haven't seen them in a while. Uh, I can get more Mark 8s. So this would allow me to take out four big targets. Right now, I don't think I need to. Uh, we're going to go and adjust the guns. We have a utility weapon over here. I can, if I save up a bit more, set up, don't laugh, well, actually laugh, uh, the M3 anti-tank gun. It's a 37mm doing 1200 damage, impact damage. That is a lot, but it also costs you like 6k. The alternative is the M4 at 10,000. Uh, RPM, 150. RPM here is 100, but you hit so much harder. Muscle velocity is a bit lower. This might even be able to take down, I don't know, like a plane. If it's coming directly at you, you just 
point this at them and pull the trigger and you go, no more plane. It is a bit expensive though. More cuts then? 3,000. I can get the X50. This gives me only four rounds. They're 130 millimeter rocket. These things are not small. Um, <clears throat> serious amounts of splash damage. But you gotta make them count. Let's do it. Let's do this. So I now have um, one machine gun. I have the bow first. I have two torpedoes and I have rocket launchers. What is not to like? The real question now becomes, where do we employ all of this weaponry? And I think for now, Malapa is as good a target as it is going to be. Uh, looks like the guys from Hada are already attacking the place. And that's good enough for me as an invitation. We're going to head out there and join them. Do I expect to get a whole lot of RP from this? Sadly not, uh, unless another destroyer happens to show up. But it is an opportunity to at least test out the rocket launchers. And see if these things are going to be making a difference, yes or no. Even though the fight was already going on, um, it somehow restarts the moment that you actually enter the arena. So press V for the rocket launchers. I can angle them up or down. For the rest, you're just going to have to use the boat. Um, they do work with your binoculars, by the looks of it. Do you guys have any... Yes, there's defenses over there. No, they don't. Yeah, they do work with the binos. Somewhat. But I'm going to have to close in, because right now they're not really able to fire far enough. Close the distance. Also, I'm going to have to make sure that I have another personnel <coughs> on the gun. Uh, the rocket launchers don't appear to... Well, they know. Actually, they might need people. Yeah, they might need people. All right. You look at that angle. Sent one? Ooh, we're sending two at the same time. Is that really necessary? That does appear like it's a bit much for what we're actually trying to do. But okay. I have no idea where those things are even going to come down. If they're coming down, they seem to have completely disappeared. Or if they're joining SpaceX or something, but okay, here we are. Uh, I have four rocket launchers per side, so even though the game says you only have four, essentially you got four shots. You just fire two at the same time. So, oh, dude, I'm trying to use this new weapon, and you're making it a bit difficult. Uh, this on the mini map might work. Whoops. Where do those rockets even go? Hit the beach, at least. Oh. They seem to... What? They skim off the water? That's an interesting feature. Okay. Let's just say I'm going to need a bit more practice with these rocket launchers before we're going to be able to do any kind of effective damage with them. Uh, when it comes to this last... I think anti-air position. Yeah, it's a triple A. We can just probably use the bofers against it. Maybe two clips, no more anti-air position. Gone. Okay. And I believe that that does wrap up the amount of attack power that they need here from me. Yeah, they got this. Okay. Um, what about Bolonda? I am looking for something bigger to attack. Look at that, 421 or territory bonus. Thank you very much. Malapa has been recaptured. Excellent. Now on to Bolonda. Scout the place out. I'm intentionally not using radar. 37. That's pretty pretty strong position. Let's refuel and rearm over here. And then see if I can... Oh, Intel's target spotted. The Akebono. Where? All the way over there. Dude, that's like halfway into Japanese territory. That is really ambitious. It's going to be a challenge to try and take that thing out. Okay. Um, I do have a lot of range with this torpedo boat. And seeing as I can resupply between various ports, I should be able to get there. If nothing else works, I can, for 100 RP, call in fuel. 
So that is an option. It's just an option that I would prefer not to have to use. Let's use radar and go hunting. It looks like we're about to get another opportunity to see just how well our offensive actions slash defensive actions will work against a real blown destroyer. Fubuki is here, or rather a class of Fubuki destroyer. Now, um, I might be able to do some damage to it, but I don't really expect to be able to take this thing down with my Bofors. Sadly, the target is coming directly for me. So I'm going to have to try and remove the escorts first before being able to do a torpedo run at it. Although, they are making it somewhat more convenient. Let's see. Wow, no! <laughs> Jeez, we got a torpedo in the water. Uh, one of our own, that is. Let's get at least this guy out of commission. Thank you very much. I think that torpedo is a complete failure. Alright. We are one of the devil boats. We're gonna go and sail this thing right into harm's way. Drop a torpedo in front of the destroyer. And this thing does look a heck of a lot better. Boom. Taking hits. Ooh. Ooh, that was not good. Thankfully, the DD is going down. But where is my crew? And so far as any of them still alive. Yeah, we got at least two guys that we can pick up. Potentially three. Three. So that's the whole crew. Are you guys just... Oh, they're landing boats. I thought we were fixing or fighting something way bigger. We are, in fact, just fighting landing boats. Now, this fight with the DD did strike me as a whole bunch more dangerous. Um, thankfully, the DD was distracted. Which I think is by far the safest way to try and take down a destroyer. Make sure the target is distracted. Um, if the target is not distracted and is paying full attention to you with all of its weaponry, you're going to have a fairly hard time. If the enemy, however, is distracted by other base defenses and potentially... It's not a destroyer, maybe a sub-chaser? There's like a really big one? No, that's more akin to a destroyer. Um, if they're facing something like that, then the guns are going to be distracted. And as the guns are distracted, you will find that it is a far, far easier target. Now, I did completely fluff the first torpedo launch, so that was not really good. But uh, the second one, at least, worked out. There is this aura around the DD. I'm going to call it a DD. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that does. If this is an ammo resupply point, that would be fantastic. Just don't know if that works that way. Yes. It's resupplying me. We're getting ammo. We're getting med kits. Yeah. So when you're out of ammunition, like on a base assault, and you got one of these things nearby, go to it. Hug it and get your ammunition, your repair kits, and your med kits. Uh, your boat might still look a little worse for wear, but unless you got that damage indicator going on, you should be fine. So, uh, yeah, cherish these guys. Make sure they survive. You take the flak, you take the damage, they take the distraction, and then you win. So this is going to give me, what, another 3,000 points? It is. It is, it is. Excellent. Um, also scavenged some RP. As for the rest, ah, eliminated the Hatsuyuki. Look at that. I didn't even know it was a target. Um, the Akabono, the, well, supposedly closed by Filoa, which is somewhere over here. I was operating over there, and then I ran out of fuel. That is a very, very dangerous thing to do, so I had to use the transmitter to call for fuel. And once fuel was delivered, I was just able to limp back to Asamane. Um, that was the only option that I had at the time. For now, I have another 4,433 points. What am I going to do with all that? Because I feel like my weaponry right now is pretty sufficient for the type of targets that I'm trying to engage. I don't... Oh, hello. Holy moly, that's big. Two destroyers. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, we might need to bring additional torpedoes. 
now that I have the funds, we're going to have to bring additional destroyer, or well, destroyer <laughs> level weaponry, to take down the threat that is facing Lunga. Because at this rate, we will not win. I can also reroll my call-ins, which means I might be able to get something to, I don't know, drop a bomb. I can get the Dauntless to do that, but the problem is... Um, I don't know if this is going to be good enough to take down a destroyer. So let's not do the reroll because that's <clears throat> like a random. Let's get some additional torpedoes aboard. We're going to bring more... Um, Oh, sorry, that's the secondary slot. I need the front torpedo slot. I'll take more of these boys. The Mark 8s. That still gives me additional RP. Let's get another gun involved. I still have the right turret. I can put one of these things on, the 1919. I honestly don't like the rocket launchers, so I'm going to take those off. Uh, that does mean I can install an additional M2. Hmm... How about just going for additional resources? Most of the time, the battle is done by the time that um, my ammunition has run dry. But I do want to take, let's say, a few more repair kits. And then maybe on the front deck, like another big repair locker. Because it generally is not my crew that dies. I have not had that happen. So I have eight medikits there, and I have a total of... Well, that's a lot of repair kits, actually. Uh, let's go for more ammo here, and then let's say eight repairs there. There we go. As for the crew, I have two repairmen. I'm going to keep it that way. I have two loaders. I'm going to keep it that way. The XO might be more useful in a gunner role, because as a gunner, he's going to be able to man another one of the guns, which currently I am a little short on. Um, I might actually need more gunners. But I don't want to give up my medic, nor a repairman. Yeah. Let's just assign a repairman uh, for the time being. And then see how it's going to go. So, back. Back, back, back. Quickly. Because Lunga is about to have the fight of its life. There it is. We have somehow 80 points in defense. Even as we're facing two destroyers. This is going to be a very interesting fight. Look at that. That's a lot of escorts as well. So they got eight escorts. They have two destroyers. I have... Uh, was that a tender? It must have been a tender. Well, I hope the tender can survive. Because if the tender can also give me back my torpedoes... Holy shit, that'd be fantastic. Uh, DD, there's one over there. No, actually. There's two over there. So we're going to ready all the torps. I'm just going to put a couple of them in the water and see where it goes. We got two guys on the 40. The Bofors. Should be enough. Whoa! Jeez, this is going to hurt like hell. Oh! Also, the boat feels a lot more sluggish now that I've attached a bunch more torpedoes to it. Uh, X... C, or sorry, E and C. Go, 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 go. Two torpedoes in the water. They do fan out quite a bit. And now I'm going to have to also pay attention to whatever else happens to be coming this way. Which is quite a lot. You, dude, get over there. We're going to have to man all the guns. Jesus. <sighs> I have no idea if my torpedoes have actually been able to do any kind of damage. Nor do I, at this point, particularly care. I just want to thin the numbers a bit. My engine is overheating. And running it too much. Now, we are getting a Dauntless. Let's bring it. I'm not sure if I target the Dauntless, or... If I'm just able to let it go and do what it Dauntlesses do. Which is dive bomb shit. Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, hold on. One destroyer died. The Isanami. I'm not sure which one this is. Here it comes. Here's the, here's the Dauntless. 
Did the Dauntless take out the other guy? I guess it's possible. Where are you going? Have you had enough? Oh, here comes the Dauntless. That's not a Dauntless, that's a suicide bomber. But somehow that thing dipped into the water, dropped a bomb, by the looks of it, and made an escape. At this point, I don't particularly care how you do it. I just think it's awesome. Oh, no, thank you. If this game keeps zigzagging as much as it is, I can't really target it. Deal with the, the landing boats first. Oh, boy. Keep zigzagging. Keep gaining distance away from the destroyer. And keep an eye on that engine, because that thing is overheating. Landing boat destroyed. Piss off with that thing. Engine temperature stable. Very good. It's cooling down a bit even. Come on, get rid of some of these landing craft. The fewer landing craft they have, the less the attack power of this group. Now, I do see that a problem that I have is I don't exactly have enough people operating as loaders. So nothing is getting ammunition. Which sucks. Woo, Jesus, I was micromanaging my crew. Thank you very much. Give me a minute while I do that, please. Look, you. Get off the gun. You get on the gun. Um, I need a loader. Marshal. Load this gun, dude. Like, pretend like you're working. Please. Loader. Loader. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what's the status on the DD now? Is it still there? It's still guarding some of these landing craft. No, sorry, these are tanks, aren't they? Yeah, they're the MFIP tanks. Okay. Boats repaired insofar as it needed it. It is ready. We have two torpedoes. Let's make something happen. Can I pick up any additional... No, they're all at anchor. I think I can let these guys handle the landing boats. I'm gonna have to take down the DD. Let's bring another Dauntless in. It appears to be right overhead. It seems like the DD is distracted. Oh, correction. The DD is no longer distracted. The DD does seem to be zigzagging a whole lot. Yep, there's a strafing run from the Dauntless. Bring it, dude. Bomb that thing. Did it? I didn't see any explosions. So I'm gonna run with the assumption that it did not, in fact, bomb. Our engine's overheating again. No! She's gonna turn around. This is gonna hurt. Oh boy. I put my last two torpedoes in the water. <clears throat> I think one of them is going to miss. The other one does look decent. But. But. They dodged it! Damn it. And I lost a crew member. Leave no man behind. Where's my crew member? Right here. Ooh, boy. No. There's so much splash happening here that I don't know where my crew member is, but I think we might have him. Yeah, he's back aboard. He came up on the starboard net. Let's go. I'd love to take down this destroyer, but I don't think I have the firepower for it right now. 
The Dauntless does not seem to be doing a whole lot of useful things. I do have the points for it, so let's call it in. These are not the, the standard resource points. These are the ones that you use in a side of a battle. Nope. <clears throat> let's try and let the engine cool down a bit. Where's the Dauntless? Come on, I need you to do something about this guy. Oh. Oh! That's not how you normally drive a destroyer. They've definitely capsized. This thing is sinking. Yeah, we got him. Definitely a combined effort, because I contributed. But sadly, I was not able to sink it. Doesn't matter, though. As long as this thing gets sunk during a battle, it seems like I get the resource points for it. Let's have the Bofors have some fun with it. It does seem like most everything ricochets off of it, though. Yeah, there she goes. So that was productive, right? That was a couple destroyers this episode. And that got me a lot of resource points. You can stop shooting now. She's sunk. Let's scavenge the RP here. Thank you. And I think that concludes the Allied defense. No, hold on. Almost. We have some stragglers here. It does look like the guys are neatly awaiting their turn. And their turn is pretty much now. But not in the way that they had anticipated it. These things can dish out some fire with like a 30 or 50 cal, but it's nothing compared to the destroyer. Oh, we've ran out of ammo. There she goes! I think that concludes the defense. Done. So we took down, what, four destroyers? They weren't officially a target. But damn, I like it. So yeah, destroyers, are they dangerous? Yes. Um, can you manage the threat? I would say also yes. Let me know how you guys get on down below in the comments. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for more.